Hey guys, welcome back to another Regular Dude Fishing video. I'm the Regular Dude John. I hope all is well. I am on Lake Wilson uh, below the Wheeler Dam a ways and we are fishing for white bass and skipjack. Uh, white bass are delicious to eat. Skipjack we need for catfish bait. So we're just throwing a sabiki rig here. I got a bit of a float on my sabiki to kind of keep it up a little bit. I got my trusty cadence gear, of course. Never leave home without it. And we'll see what we can get into. So uh, enough blabbing, let's get to fishing. And the bass and the skipjacks. I don't know if you guys are going to see them real well or not, but I hope so. They are going insane chasing them little schools of yellowtails. There's one on, I don't think he got off. I got some more rods set up again out back, of course. Freebies. So we're trying to catch bass and skipjack, and I think we're in the right spot. There's one. That feels like a bass. Those white bass are really good eating. And while we're down here, we're gonna try to catch some. That one's kind of small. You want back in your dude, grow up. Just using sabiki rigs. But that's the way it's pretty cool the way they're popping like that. Birds everywhere and fish everywhere. There we go. Tennessee River Skipjack. Put him in the water cooler mix there. There's another school of something coming. Man, this gets pretty intense. I don't know if you guys can see that big school of fish coming there. Let's see if we can get one out of it. I'm throwing a Foley spoon. Carolina rig with an inline sinker with swivels on it. With a silver spoon, trying to uh, make it look like a shad. I'm just throwing it out there in amongst them. And I'm really pretty fast to try to give it that shad that has the old crap. I'm trying to get away look going on with it. So, you have to forget there's a lot of head motion, and I'm sorry about the camera work, but uh, we got a lot going on right now. It's after daylight, and I haven't even really finished my coffee yet, which is never a good thing. I may need to switch colors of spoons because they're not really digging on the uh, silver all that much. May have to go with a white one. There's one. May have to go with a white one. There's a nice skip deck. And you can watch them as they're hitting out there. See them trying to hit that sabiki rig. And eventually one of them will get hooked up on it. And we can just reel it in. Man, they are just everywhere. Sometimes you get lucky and you can get on them like this. I mean, there's just certain times of the day, certain times of the year. When you can find stuff like this going on, we're on Lake Wilson, which is below the Wheeler Dam, and hopefully we can catch a lot of fish. Pretty crazy. Oh, there's... Well, he didn't get hooked up. He grabbed the bait, but he didn't get hooked up. And it looks like we're going to get wet today, too. And if we get lucky, my buddy Richard's going to try to come out and fish with us for a little while. We're maybe go bass fishing a little bit with him. Richard's a busy dude. I love it when I get a chance to fish with him. I never miss a chance to fish with him. There's a lot. Looks like a bass on that one. <clears throat> These bass, uh, schools of bass and skipjack, they're working together. See, there's a little, little striper or a little hybrid bass, a little white bass. These like this, the schoolie size and the skipjacks, that's a little hybrid. You see he's got the broken lines. They're all swimming together, get in there, little dude. And they're uh, eating them little, little yellowtail shad. 
Big schools of yellowtail shad that are swimming around. Look at them right here by the boat. Sometimes it gets pretty frustrating when they're right here and you, <laughs> you can't catch them. Oh, like I said, it gets pretty intense, but I like it. You get busy sometimes. You get a you get one on both of these rods out the back and then you get one on your rod and reel you can be pretty busy but if you can get it going like that you can catch a lot of fish sometimes too which is what we like oh, I got a tangle so. alrighty Let's see who's on the phone I've never seen them like this before. Gotta try to get them figured out. They're not really liking this silver spoon, so we're gonna try a different color here, I think, in a minute. And we are most definitely going to get wet. Stop putting the ring gear on. We'll probably have to put the camera away while it's raining real hard. I don't really have a good waterproof. I got a waterproof case, but the camera's not in the waterproof case right now where I'm using my microphone. So, oh, there's one. Oh, he come off. They do that a lot, man. Dang it, he come off too. Well, I could catch some fish if I could keep him on the hook. There's some other dudes out here that are bass fishing. Most everybody's chasing the uh, the white bass and the hybrids and the stripers. They're all running together. I think we're the only ones out here chasing skipjack right now. Oh, and Richard called and said it's going to rain and storm pretty bad today and it's about a two hour drive for him so he's not gonna make it this trip but we'll hook up with him next time we come down this way for sure well I've lost two since the camera's been on so anyway I gotta think about getting my rain gear on here so let me turn the camera off for a little bit it's like uh Looks like Miss Mary just caught a double on her sabiki. These are just regular old sabiki rigs that we're using. And uh, sometimes I'll put a float uh, or a spoon at the end of it. Just for a little bit a little bit more of a flashy action, so to speak. Kind of get some attention. And then I'm, I'm, the idea with my float there is to just kind of pop it. And uh, get a little bit of top water action going to see if we can get some uh, attention where it looks like something's feeding, chasing them little sabiki baits. And uh, that's what we're doing. Sometimes they get wrapped up though too. They're, sometimes there can be a pain in the butt to try to fish with them, but uh, you know, it is what it is. So anyway, we'll let you know if anything cool happens. On my spoon there at the end. All right, man. I love catching skipjack. They're so much fun. This one isn't a pig, but he will do, man. Mary got one on her spoon too. So like I said, that uh, the reason for the float is just to kind of get a little bit of a pop going. To try to just get some extra tension. Because whenever they come up to feed, you'll, you'll see them pop, 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 pop all over the top of the water. And sometimes if you can just make that pop yourself with uh, one of these floats or uh, you know something like that, then you can get that attention that you need, get them looking up. And then they'll see your baits and sometimes they'll come up and you know every little advantage you know just like using the rod holders we have our monster rod holders down there that i'm a huge firm believer in simply because you know they work you can put a couple of them in them rod holders and uh, every little advantage that you have that you can give yourself helps and uh, even guys that are out here trolling around and fishing for white bass they're using uh, you know they're using the rod holders to hold their rods trolling for white bass and stripers and stuff like that so 
like I say, if you can if you can give yourself an advantage, then you might as well. And it looks like they've oh slowed down. Oh, there's one. I was gonna say it looks like I think that might be a bass. I hope it's a white bass. No, that's a skip bait. We're trying to catch some of these white bass out of here too. They're delicious, man. They are delicious. It's a pretty good size skipjack. That's what we like. Trophy catfish bait, y'all. Alright, let me turn the camera off for a minute. But, we're catching a few here and there. Looks like Mary's got another double on there. Beaky into Foley Spoon combination. Whenever you can find them, you can get them. Good job. Oh, get him in the boat. There we go. You know, I hate it whenever they get right up next to the boat and then they get off. <laughs> and they do that a lot, man. Sometimes they're hard to keep on the hook. <laughs> what well, can get frustrating when you see them popping out there like this and you can't get anything on the hook? Oh, there's one. I spoke too soon. Oh, he come off. He spit it. Oh, man. Don't tell me I can't catch one out of this school. Whoa. Frustrating. Out of the school. Yeah, I think Mary got one. Oh, they're right there by the boat. This is fun. I just love Alabama. You get to see stuff like this. We don't have this. Don't happen up home. You have to excuse me. I can't talk. I'm all excited. Fish everywhere. You get to see stuff down here in Alabama that you don't get to see anywhere else. Like Crazy Earl's liquor, hardware, and barbecue. You know, what I mean, <laughs> I love it. Oh man, well, I was hoping I was going to catch a fish while the camera was on, oh, I did for you. but it doesn't appear that it's going to happen that way. So, we're going to keep fishing, man. And a skipjack right there next to the boat. I don't know if y'all seen him come up and hit or not. Woohoo! Caught a fish like a really real dude. That's what we like, man. I wish a white bass would come along, though. I could use some white bass, that's for sure. Oh, I hope you guys saw that. I missed him. But he was right there at the boat. Coming up to hit it. There's one. You want to go eat some of your buddies? Nope. Well, Well, sometimes we get lucky. And you can tell what they're eating. That little, see that little tiny shad that's in his mouth? That's what they're chasing. The little tiny yellowtail shad. Pretty crazy. Well, guys, we come off the water a little bit early. Uh, I burned up the battery in my boat, so I'm down here at Frankie's Marine Service. Dalton is saving my bacon. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Appreciate right, it. So, I will say this. If you're down by uh, the Wheeler Dam area and you break down, they can definitely take care of you down here. Let me get you another shot of that sign. 
And, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know the old saying, boat bust out another thousand. So, well, here we are. Not going to be quite a thousand, though, but I got to get a new battery. Anyway, we're going to get things fixed up and try to get back on the water before the next rain comes in. All right. We'll give you guys a quick shot of my, uh, my truck and my boat. That's Ford F-150. Um, it was wrapped by my buddy Chuck down here at amusementwraps.com. You can check them out. They're in Ironton, Ohio. He does excellent work. There's my truck that he wrapped for me. And here's my boat. Of course, we've got Cadence and the Tackle Box. Wallace Knife Works, Ricky Wallace. There's my regular dude. The truck and the boat was both wrapped by Music Wraps. And uh, there you have it. Of course, we've got Monster Rod Decal, Tangle with Catfish Decal, Monster Cat Club, meaning I have caught a catfish over 50 pounds. And uh, the boat is still a work in progress. Whenever I get it all said and done, we'll go over some of the other things. But it is a 1986 Cobia Sun Skiff uh, that we got. I got it from a guy who bought it from the Coast Guard, actually. It's an old Coast Guard boat. Come out of South Carolina. There's the old Coast Guard sticker. Center console, I love it. All right. Go do some more fishing. Well, there you have it, guys. That's uh, <laughs> that's how we catch skipjack when we come down here to Lake Wheeler. Or Lake Wilson, I should say, below the Wheeler Dam. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the links that I'll leave below. And uh, we'll try to get more next time. So until the next time, we'll catch you in the next video. Fishing!